This video is brought to you by Squarespace. What's up guys, it's time to unveil the surprising truth of the Galaxy S20 FE compared to the Galaxy S20 series. This phone, although it's being marketed as the phone for fans, it's clearly a drastic move to improve the sales of the Galaxy S20 lineup, which in case you don't know, fell down about 59% compared to the last year's Galaxy S10 series. Now the first obvious win for the Galaxy S20 FE is that it's a lot cheaper compared to the S20 lineup. S20 FE 5G model costs $699. That's almost $300 cheaper than the starting price of the S20 lineup, which starts at $1,000. If you actually go with the 4G Exynos 990 LTE model of the S20 FE, that model is even more cheaper, coming at $600. Apart from the price, there's actually a huge advantage for buying the Galaxy S20 FE compared to the S20 and Note 20 series. If you're in the UK or Europe or basically in any non US country that has 5G, you see still get Exynos 990 with the S20 series or Note 20 series despite paying all that 5G premium price but the S20 FE 5G gives you Qualcomm 865 no matter where you are in the world. So that means 5G markets where normally we have Exynos models, the S20 FE is bringing Qualcomm 865 and it's a huge deal for anyone who's looking to score a better chip and that probably has slightly better battery, faster benchmark scores and of course uh, smoother gaming performance as we have seen in the comparison side side with the Qualcomm and Exynos chips. I think this alone will be a huge reason to just go for the S20 FE, save money and you're getting Qualcomm, that's amazing. Now to be fair, Samsung is bringing the Exynos 990 model almost $100 cheaper. Honestly, in my opinion, at this price point, processor difference really doesn't matter. But if that is something important to you, then do know that you get Qualcomm on all S20 FE 5G models. Now before getting my hands on the S20 FE, the thought about this phone was that this phone should have been launched early with the Galaxy S20 series on the unpacked day back in February because the standard S20 which was initially $1000 can now be attained for a much cheaper price. Again, it depends on your market and make no mistake, the Galaxy S20 series is far more premium than the S20 FE with a higher Gorilla Glass 6, edge display, a better glass body. But wait, here is where things get interesting. The S20 FE is not just a cheaper S20, it's actually a better phone in a lot of important areas and it's more of a competitor to the $1,100 Galaxy S20 Plus. First up, we have the battery. It's coming at 4,500 millipar cell that is almost as big as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, whereas the standard Galaxy S20 only comes with a 4,000 millipar battery. I can confidently say that the S20 FE is the first Samsung phone with a 120-year screen that can last you a full day. The S20 FE is also rocking a flat display. It's gonna come down to personal preference whether you like edge screens or flat display. I personally like flat displays because they're more comfortable to hold. A flat screen means that the content won't cut out if you're using the third-party applications such as Instagram or Snapchat. Also, we already use our Galaxy S20 phones on full HD plus resolution anyways, so I couldn't really tell major difference apart from the edge screen of the S20 series, which yes, does look a lot more premium, but the full HD plus Plus resolution on the S20 FE, it does wonders to the battery and I think for most people it's a sweet spot. Also Galaxy S20 FE, while it is plastic, it is still IP68 water and dust resistant. It has a support for wireless charging, reverse wireless charging. It uses plastic on the back which means it won't break like glass if you drop it. While at the same time it won't get those fingerprint smudges on the back. Again considering the price difference, unless you're getting a better deal, I think most people would be fine with the Galaxy S20 FE. Now, now before I talk about camera, I want to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an easy to use online website building platform that will make creating your own professional and functional website really easy. They've got tons of templates to choose from and a number of preset templates as well depending on the type of the website to get you started. All templates are professionally made at the back end and are fully adaptable to any device. Moreover, with Squarespace, you can set up your online shop very easily easily. Everything can be created or customized by dragging and dropping, which means no prior programming knowledge needed. So do check out squarespace.com, build your website and use my special coupon code ZTechCare for 10% off. As always, the link is down below in the description. Now S20 FE is rocking almost the same camera setup as the Galaxy S20 series. It cannot shoot 8K video because it doesn't have that 64 megapixel telephoto lens. Instead, it's rocking a less resolution 8 
megapixel zoom lens that still offered 3x lossless zoom and up to 30x digital zoom. As for the selfie camera, Samsung has brought a 32 megapixel selfie sensor. It has a dedicated 32 megapixel mode, which in a favorable lighting situation is going to put out a sharper selfie. And it also allows you to shoot 4K 60fps video. Software wise, is rocking the same One UI 2.5 as the S20 lineup. It's also going to get three years of software update officially from Samsung. So the surprising truth of this video is that the Galaxy S20 FE is not just a cheaper phone. It gives Qualcomm chip in most markets. And even with the Exynos 990 is coming out $100 cheaper, it's actually more of a competitor to the S20 Plus rather than the Galaxy S20. It's got a bigger battery coming at 4,500 million parts. So with 120 Hz, you get almost a day of usage. This phone almost kills the Galaxy S20 sales because of all its features at the cheaper price. But that shouldn't be a surprise because S20 sales were already pretty bad all around the world. And to top it off, the whole pandemic situation also didn't help Samsung at all. There's a reason why Samsung gave the 120s display to the S20 FE, not the standard Galaxy Note 20. So all in all, as the Galaxy S20 FE is out and as I've used this phone personally, I have to say it turned out to be a far better deal than just being a cheaper S20 variant. As always, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.